Hello and welcome to the Wind Lane Weekly for March 21st, 2018. I'm joined by my good friend Mike Stanford, who has a lot to share with us today. Uh, Mike, do you want to ask any opening comments? Uh, I just want to say hi to my all my fans and also Brent. <laughs> oh, Michael, uh, you are a celebrity just waiting to be discovered. Uh, so first, we had a, a quick recap of the Woodlane Awards from this past Saturday. Uh, we were out at Nazareth Hall in Grand Rapids, Ohio. Uh, the award winners, Outstanding Self-Advocate, Virginia Newsom. Uh, Individual Achievement Awards to both Dennis Miller and Nick Hyman. Uh, the uh, Cami Chamberlain Distinguished Service Award went to our very own volunteer coordinator, Emily Dunapace. The Volunteer of the Year was uh, Antrone Juice Williams. The uh, Woodlane Spirit Award, uh, the Blanchard family, Tom and Sandy Blanchard. And finally, the Community Leader Award uh, goes out to Lynn Whitney for all her work with the BGSU Photography Project. We will certainly be sharing more regarding the uh, Woodlane Community Honors, uh, but what a great evening and congratulations to everyone who participated. Uh, but then, Mike, we are on to the next step. And so this past week, uh, we had a big week, right? Yeah. Uh, so what happened Tuesday? I go on the radio with uh, the famous Brent Bear. I interviewed him with good questions. Had a great playlist. It ranged from the Beatles way down to Carly Rae Jespin. Yeah, it was. Uh, and Mike, you, you brought some pretty serious questions to the table for the radio on Tuesday morning. Yes, uh, I did. Said, right? And uh, anything we want to say to Clint for uh, letting you, uh, giving you the opportunity to co-host on Tuesday? Uh, I want to say thank you to Clint Corb, and I hope I uh, join you again sometime. Okay, so Clint, there you go. Mike's ready to return for round two for co-hosting. Uh, then also this week, we still have several other events. Uh, so tonight, uh, Wednesday, March 21st, we are having a community conversation. So over at the Bowling Green State University Student Union, uh, we will, uh, beginning at 7 o'clock p.m., uh, going to have a panel discussion. Uh, we're going to watch a TED Talk and have a panel discussion. It includes uh, families, self-advocates, uh, community leaders uh, regarding uh, you know, the field of developmental disabilities and some of the issues we face here in Wood County. Uh, we are really looking forward to that. It is a partnership with Not In Our Town, as well as the Best Buddies program, uh, which, Mike, you, you have a connection to the Best Buddies program. Yeah, I do. I had a partner in the Best Buddies program, and I'm having a good time with it. Yeah, it is. Uh, do you recommend it for others? Oh, yeah. I recommend it for everyone who wants to join. Okay, so if you have any interest in Best Buddies, you can give Mike here a call, uh, and we will certainly get you more information, but it is a peer mentorship with Bowling Green State University students. Uh, it has just started uh, here in 2018, but it is really looking like it's going to be a premier program for us, so uh, looking forward to that community conversation tonight. Uh, and then, Mike, tomorrow is a big one for you. What's going on tomorrow night? Oh, yeah, tomorrow night is the Celebrity and Personal Big Basketball Game. Hope you guys come out. Yeah, uh, uh, Bowling Green Community Center, all right, tomorrow night, yeah, tomorrow uh, night. 7 o'clock as well. Uh, so we have several celebrities taking on the uh, Special Olympics athletes. And mm -hmm. as you know, the Special Ap Olympics athletes do not take it easy on any competitor. Uh, but we have, uh, we have uh, Mayor Ed Kalanko from Walbridge. We have uh, the, uh, the new police chief of Bowling Green State University. We have... Uh, former uh, collegiate players who are coming on out, uh, and we are really looking forward to it. We, uh, uh, it's going to be a stiff challenge on Thursday night, Mike. I got that right. Uh, are you up for it? I think so. I hope I'll be busy playing on the WWE team tomorrow. Okay, so please join us tomorrow night. And then uh, also, uh, there's a 5K this Sunday out at Levis Commons. Uh, registration is at... Uh, eight o'clock and uh, we, we run at nine. Uh, it may be a little cold, but we will brave the weather and get it done. Uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, and then Mike, uh, yesterday, I, and hopefully we're showing pictures of that, uh, you and the Action Club uh, had a, an activity that you're getting ready for a fundraiser? Oh yeah, uh, we're, uh, yesterday we made doggy treats. I hope you guys come out and buy some. Okay, and those dog treats are for sale I do believe there's a station at entrance A and D. Oh yeah, there's a station at my office and also Chris and Fisher's office. I'll be going to come out and, and buy some. And there is a limited supply, so if anybody wants to buy them, they need to get out soon, correct? Yes. 
Okay, so you heard it here. Uh, the clock is ticking on the Action Club dog treats. Uh, we are so thankful for you joining us today. Mike, any final thoughts? Uh, I just want to say thank you to Brandon. I interviewed him yesterday at the radio, and I hope I do it again. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, and see you next week.